74-year-old George Pell said he was unable to travel to Australia because of heart problems. While strictly speaking an Australian affair concerning events decades ago, the hearing has taken on wider implications about accountability of church leaders because of Pell's high position in the Vatican where he serves as a finance minister. After the commission allowed Pell to testify from Rome, it bowed to demands by victims groups to observe. A national crowdfunding campaign raised the money to fly about 15 victims and supporters so they could be in the same room with Australia's most senior Catholic clergymen. Well, we're very anxious. We're very anxious. Uh, we've come a long way to show that we can come here as a sick group of men. Because we can come all this way to take it to the edge. Because we want acknowledgement of what happened to us as children. And we hope that after all this time, we can have that acknowledgement, which I hope will lead to a commitment for us to go home and recover all our people. There are so many funerals that we have been to. There are so many people back home who haven't even told their story yet. We need them to be able to tell their story. So we need to get past this stage. This is the stage of denial. It's time to move on. We need something to take back to our families back home so that we can come good and recover everybody that needs to be helped. Pell has become the focal point for victims' frustration over what they said has been an inadequate response to abuse claims from the Catholic Church. He is not accused himself of sexual abuse. The hearing, expected to last four days, takes place in the hotel ballroom. Pell and his supporters said he has done no wrong and that he has become a lightning rod for all cases of abuse. On Sunday, Pell's office released a photo of the Cardinal tying a yellow ribbon around a fence in the Vatican Gardens, joining a campaign started by the Australian Loud Fence Victim Support Group. The timing was, was interesting. Yeah, the timing, very interesting timing. Yes. The, these loud ribbons were started by friends of ours in Ballarat and they're all around the world. Every single ribbon represents a child being abused. And we would encourage everyone in the world to put ribbons on their churches, on their houses, on their everywhere, to, to show us all that you care and support us. Thank you. Last year, Australia's bishops rallied behind Pell, calling him in a joint statement a man of integrity who is committed to the truth. Sexual abuse broke into the open in 2002 when it was discovered bishops in the Boston area moved abuses from parish to parish instead of defrocking them. Similar scandals have been discovered around the world and tens of millions of dollars have been paid in compensation. Pell has blamed a former culture of silence in the church for the cover-up of child abuse by clergy, making it difficult to know the full extent of crimes. He has twice apologized for its slow response. Ironically, the Rome hearing starts just hours before the Oscar ceremony in Hollywood, where Spotlight, a film about the systematic cover-up of sexual abuse in the church in Boston, has been nominated for six Academy Awards. Lorraine Gabina, MTV World News.